Okay, now we are going to do the, the, the little um, country, country twangy lick I like to do. I don't know what it's called, but I call it country, country twangy lick. Um, again, major, major, uh, D major pentatonic. Remember last time we learned this little bend, bend. Uh, well, now we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna kick it up a notch. So, what I'm doing is, I have all three fingers. So I have first finger, um, third fret, second string, um, second finger, fourth fret, second string, and third finger fifth fret second string so all three fingers are down now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pinky and I'm going to put it down I'm trying to get a good shot here ah, pinky is going to be down on the fifth fret first string and what I'm going to do is it's, it takes a little it's a little tricky and takes some practice like everything else um, but I'm going to I'm going to bend this up So I've bent up the second string and I'm picking the first string. So I'm. Well, this is just impossible. So I'm picking the first string. So the trick is not bending the the, the first string. Is it's leaving it. I'm just my pinky is right here. It's static and it's just making that note there on the fifth on the fifth fret. Okay. So I'm bending up and and I'm bending down, bending up. And um, you can you can mess around with that a lot. Or another thing I like to do is I'll bend up, um, I'll also bend up the pinky. I'll bend everything up. Okay, so where were we? We were going over uh, the first little lick in the major pentatonic in D. So again, three, three fingers down the second string, starting at the third fret. First finger on the second, second finger on the third, third finger on the fifth fret. So we can get a good, good leverage bending that up. Then we're going to take our pinky and we're putting it on the first string on the fifth fret. And we're leaving that static and we're bending up the three strings. And then we're hitting the first string of the E string. And then we end with our first finger on the th second string, third fret. Again. Put a little vibrato in there if you want. And that's, that's all I'm doing. And again, you can bend up the... Um, the E string, the first string if you want, and bend them all together. If you like, this train's a coming down the road, baby. Kind of fuck around with it like that. So, you know, that that's that's like my one go-to little lick that I do. Um, I just want to be kind of bluesy. If I want to be kind of country. Up, what I do there, I just threw something in. Okay, what that was was my 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 bend on the second string. So what I'm doing I'm taking my my second finger on the fourth fret third string, 
and it's sort of a passing note. So rather than just ending it, I'm adding that as a passing note. So once again, slowly. Okay, so that's in the, in, you can't really do that in the minor pentatonic scale, but that little lick works in all the major pentatonic scales. So that same, it's the, it's the same pattern, the same thing, just however, whatever key you transpose it in. Um, so let's do a jam track and see how that works. Okay, see you in a bit.